Hello, this is Sound Out here with the preview pack to interview for the Transformers Rings of the Fallen, the Voyager class, Decepticon, and Marchand. Hello, this is Sound Out here with the actual review of Transformers Rings of the Fallen, Nest Global Alliance, Bludgeon! 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 Okay, uh, here's Bludgeon. He's a tank, as you can tell. Oh my god, this thing is so freaking awesome! He get over his awesome, epic awesomeness. I mean, he's just freaking awesome, and he's epic, and he's bludgeoning, and he's awesome, and he's epic, and bludgeoning, and epic, oh! Oh my gosh, this toy is so cool. Let's get on to the actual review now. <laughs> okay, um, comes with this awesome little sticker. This is one of the ones you need for the mail away Ravage, when you buy the Nest Battle Pack and two other toys to get these little stickers. So glad that comes with everybody, so you don't have to restricted. Actually, this is sticker number four for me since I already got the battle pack. I already got Dirge and Alliance Bumblebee and sent it off, so waiting that six to eight weeks now. But here is Bludgeon in his tank mode. Uh, he's very nice, colored in green with some little orange bits around. He's got these rubber treads here and here. This part's plastic, though, so nice. So you can see his robot mode chest in the bottom. Um, He's got nice orange here. Very nicely detailed all around. If you want to panel line this guy, you'll be taking a long time. Uh, nice little barrel there. And here are his double-decker guns. Now, he also can rotate 360 degrees here. you most likely seen this if you're anywhere interested in this guy. And I'll just, you know, have fun with this review. I, I'm probably one of the last people to review this, you know, I've seen a lot of reviews of this guy. But, there he is, nice little barrel tank. Uh, he rolls very nicely, um, for being a tank, and turn his barrel and he can shoot you, um, but yeah, there's not much else to this. Uh, I don't know what to do anymore. There is blushing, there's not much else to say. The robot mode is where everything's at. Transformation time! There he is in robot mode, just spicing things up a little bit. As you can see, he's a very nice samurai invoked um, a robot. I mean, he's very nice. He, he might, you know, even go as an evil Shinkano if you so desire. Um, mainly with all the Shinkano references coming out in this thing. He is very cool. Uh, you could say that he joined the Decepticons after being rejected by the Shinkinjiros, and he's vengeful, and... Uh, uh, I can see Bludgeon is very nice, and very nice. As you can see, he's got all kinds of little treads around here, which make this nice. He has kibble becomes his, like, samurai armor skirt thing. Skull on his chest, skull for a head. His sword is sheathed across here with his um, backpack. It's actually like turned that way for some reason. Um, 
very nice overall. The conversion, it makes him a nice, sleek robot mode. Uh, not much else to say. For articulation, he's got 360 head, but of course it's blocked because it's in there. Um, got 360 shoulders. Uh, you have to turn this around. And it gets a little bit blocked, but... And this part will not stay up today. You move his arms out. He's got double jointed elbows. Which is very nice. Um, you can move his shoulders up if you want to. And stay together. Oh, bludgeoned. There. I popped into place now. Um, very nice leg articulation. Forward and back. Knees. A little mech alive in there. And his feet are very nice. Not much else to say there. Now, as you know, his sword is made out of his tank barrel. He can hold it very nicely in his hand. And he can go... All, uh... Shinkinger on you. Shinkinetto! Shiba. Okay. But, yeah. Then you also... That's pretty much it for that. Now, what's cool about this guy is, aside from all his posing pop possibilities, they included a very non-intrusive gimmick. And that is his backpack. You can pop this down, and it reveals his other part of Mech Alive, a hidden scabbard with a knife in it. Pull the knife out, stick it in his other hand, like this, like this. Or you can attach it to the other end of his sword. The whole double-bladed, uh, double-bladed uh, deal. Goes back back up. And there's also a little clip over there. The, remember to fold that down in vehicle mode. Whoa! And there he is. Uh, as you can see, nice little sword deal. Uh, actually, it's kind of like the whole thing of having the knife in the backpack. Um, so if someone knocks his sword out of the way, like Shinken Reddo or um, Juzo or somebody, whoever he's fighting, he can pull the knife out and kill them in their sleep while they're dead. He'll get enjoyment out of it. But there is Bludgeoned. Bludgeoned. Oh, wow. This toy is so much better than the one that was the repaint of Wreckage. Well... This posing possibilities is so much. Uh, let's go into a posing montage. Right now. Overall, I'd highly recommend Bludgeon to any Transformers collector or Classics collector because he goes really well with them. That's the way he designed it at Hasbro. But overall, Bludgeon's a great figure. I'd highly recommend him pick him up on site because he's going fast and there's... Yeah, he's really popular. I see why. Till next time, this is saying. Goodbye. Wait, what's that? Bludgeon, what'd you do to Shenron? You're gonna pay for this. Pay for this dearly. Oi, Fungu!